I think we're live. Good morning. It is Freezer Friday and I'm doing it by myself. So what I need from you today is to let me know below which do you like, Crock-Pot or Instant Pot? So over on the Instagram, I have posted a poll and Crock-Pot is winning. But for those of you who are watching, I want to know which one do you use most, Crock-Pot or Instant Pot? Today, we are doing Freezer Friday, which means I prepped three Crock-Pot freezer meals to make the rest of my week easier. So today, we're not going to talk about one recipe. We're not going to talk about two. We're actually going to do three in the same amount of time that it would take you to do Actually, in less time, it will take you to do one regular recipe. It's a game changer, friends. It's a game changer. Let's see who is on here. Evelyn and Rachel and Tammy and Lisa. Let's see. Rachel likes Instant Pot. Sarah says Crock Pot. Amanda, Crock Pot. Hi, Brianna and Autumn. Kendra, woo woo. Okay, so crock pot or instant pot? Let's see who's winning. Right now, I think it's still the crock pot, friends. Who knew? I thought more people wanted the instant pot. Okay, I gotta get my bougie cup out because my voice is kind of crackly today. Okay, so let's talk about it. Today, we're talking about the Lazy Day Cooking Club. And what the Lazy Day Cooking Club is actually a freezer meal prep group, okay? So what we do is we give you recipes every single month where we're teaching you how to throw them in a freezer bag and throw them in your freezer in minutes. And then we show you how to throw those in the crock pot straight from your freezer so you come home and dinner's already done. So let me know what you would do next week in the evenings if you didn't have to worry about dinner. Because if you're in the club, you don't have to worry about what's for dinner. So if you are in the Lazy Day Cooking Club, I want you to let me know below what is your favorite thing about the club? So, um, and maybe if I see you, I'm gonna pop you up on the screen on Facebook because that's so cool. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to see who is all on here. Okay, Christina in Virginia. Pam says the crock pot, but would love to have more recipes for my Instapot. Oh, Pam, you gotta go to Eden on a dime. We have so many recipes and for Instapot. And the great thing is that in the Lazy Day Cooking Club, when you sign up, not only are we gonna give you over $40 worth of free cookbooks, but we're also going to, um, what's it called? We give you a conversion on how to convert any of your crock pot recipes to Instant Pot recipes. So it's super easy. So not only will all these recipes work in the crock pot, they'll also work in the Instant Pot. Okay, I wanted to show you real quick if I have these out. I forgot to grab these. Here we go. So when you join the club, you get our free printable cookbooks. You're going to get our best comfort food sides, the summer salads, the marinades, all of these free printable cookbooks that are actually valued over $40. So you're getting way more for your money by being in the club. So let's see if anybody has left. Okay. Let's see. What is your best flavored crock pot recipe? That's what Candace said. Um, probably my, my crock pot roast because it's so simple. It's easy crock pot roast. There's no seasoning packets. It's super simple and it's amazing. But I also really love the recipe today in the Lazy Cooking Club. It's called balsamic beef stew that we're going to make. It's amazing. Okay, so if you're in the club, let me know. What is your favorite thing about the club? What is it saving you? How to, how do you join? Okay, so if you're on YouTube or Facebook, the link is right above the video. And if you're on Instagram, I'm gonna add it to my stories once we get off. Or you can always go to the lazydaycookingclub.com. Super simple. Okay. Okay, sorry, I'm looking through the comments. Okay, so let's get going. Oh, here we go. Kristen. Sorry, I was waiting for some members. She says, oh, sorry, hide. Kristen says it saves me time and money. So that's what she loves about the club. I love my lazy day cooker. So if we see you. Okay, so some people said they missed their Friday song. So I should just sing a song. I need a song. I need a Christmas song to sing. Oh, this is what happens when you do things last night. 
last minute. I could do Jingle Bells. Freezer Friday, Freezer Friday. Where is my Christina? <laughs> I'm not very good at the songs, but I can cook good food. Hey, was that even Jingle Bells? I don't think it was. Close. Christina, help! <laughs> Dang, Christina. <sighs> Listen, friends. I'm here to cook. She's here for entertainment. And without her, I'm just alone. That's okay. We're still going to make jingle bells. There we go. Some people think it is. So, okay. Crockpot recipes, crockpot recipes, crockpot all. Okay. Crockpot recipes, crockpot recipes, crockpot all the way. There you go. Let's see who did that. I'm going to show her. Lizzie, thank you so much. Okay. Debbie says she loves all the recipes. Woohoo. Enjoying a frozen, well-cooked breakfast burrito now. Woohoo, Jennifer. Um, our freezer burritos are amazing. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry that your Freezer Friday song was Capote's. Next week, I'm going to make my sister do two. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, friends, so let's get going on this Freezer Friday. So join the club. That's what you're going to do today. You're Because we're going to change your December. Imagine how much less stressed you're going to be if you already have figured out dinner. So you just give us a few minutes and we're going to change dinner time. So three crockpot freezer meals that we're going to make in a matter of minutes. The first one we're going to make is the crockpot balsamic beef stew. Then we're going to make sweet and sour chicken. And last, but definitely not least, we're making creamy chicken Parmesan soup. So all of these, we're actually making them in a bag and they're going to go in the freezer. And so that way, when you wake up, you just run out to your freezer, you pick me one for dinner and you throw it in the crock pot. It literally takes like two minutes. And some of you have probably seen my sister. I think she did it twice this week and showed you how you can get dinner done in literally minutes. So even if you're sick or you're busy or you're having a rough day, you can still avoid the drive through. And so if we can help you avoid the drive through one time every single month, then we're going to save you money. But I know we're going to get you to avoid the drive through much, much more. Okay. You love the flowers. Thank you. That was from the husband. They're starting to die. It makes me sad. Be okay. Lizzie says, because of you, I was able to make three freezer meals for a new mom. Oh my goodness, Lizzie. You're awesome. I love it. Okay. Let's see. Thank you for sharing. Freezer cooking, freezer cooking. I love how you saved me time. Hey, that's a good one too. Sorry, I had to. Okay. Jenny says, let me see if I can show it. The Lazy Cooking Club has helped my son eat finally and to know we are saving money from eating out the foods he always eats. Thank you, ladies. Woohoo! So she's avoiding eating out and saving money because of the club. You're welcome, Sheila. Oh, thank you. Just leave right there. I'll drink if you're in the video, sweetie. Thanks. Sorry. That's okay. I forgive you. Um, I had to get a new dinner. Okay. Um, Pam, if you're needing to update your card, you can do that on the actual Lazy Day Club, Lazy Day Cooking Club website. But if you're having issues, just hit the contact form and you can contact us. And we can show you how to do it. Okay, so let's get going. Oh, wait, here we go. Kristen says, I love the recipes and the shopping list. I can order my groceries that way and Instacart delivers. Yes, Kristen, that's my favorite part. So what is so awesome at the club is you'll select the recipes you want and we generate a shopping list for you. I don't think people realize how great this is until they're actually in the club. So we generate the entire shopping list for you and it's even categorized. So if you're gonna shop in the store, it's so much easier. But if you're not, a lot of our members are saving so much money that they're actually having their groceries delivered now. So we're saving you more time by not having to grocery shop. They just type it in, search for it, and have their groceries delivered, or they do a grocery pickup, and they're avoiding the crazy store, because we all know the grocery store is crazy right now. Okay, so let me get back. So recipe number one, we are doing the car with balsamic beef, and I'm going to use a, what's this thingy called? A freezer bag holder, okay? So my balsamic beef, we're doing a stew meat is already in the bag and the bag is labeled. Super important you label your bag before you put your food in there. And the reason we put the meat in first is because that way we can wash up before we start, you know, touching everything else. 
So we're going to do a celery. Let me make sure. Okay. Celery stock chopped up. So this is balsamic beef stew. And when you join today, you will immediately get all these recipes and all the how to's. But the best part is you want to join our private Facebook group immediately. We go live multiple times a week now um, with tips and tricks. And the support is just so awesome there. Okay, now we're going to do some carrots chopped. Am I missing any comments? Uh, no. I'll take a, huh? Okay. I'll take a break in a minute. Then we're gonna do some onions dice, which we've already pre-chopped them so I don't cry on a live because you guys know I do that. I forgot to eat a carrot. Hey, didn't miss that bad boy. Some Worcestershire. So, like, a lot of people think that I'm just like, you know, I'm just, oh, well, she can do it because of this. But, no, I'm actually just reading off of the recipes that you get. Literally. We just printed it off of the website, and I'm just reading it. Super simple. Okay. Then we're going to do balsamic vinegar, which you guys, if you've been following me, you know I could eat this with a spoon. Love me some balsamic. So, I'm going to throw in some of balsamic oh, and then the angel sang then we're gonna do some minced garlic all of our ingredients are super simple and easy to throw together that's why it's called the lazy day cooking club um we want to make it as easy as possible for you and of course my garlic always has to be heaping <laughs> don't judge me and my love of garlic Salt and pepper, and oh, I was supposed to mix that up, wasn't I? Um, let's do these. I was actually supposed to mix that up. Oh, I'm a struggle bus, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Some salt, huh? Yeah, and some pepper. Salt and pepper. Pepper and salt. However you do it. Why do people say salt and pepper instead of pepper and salt? It's a solid question. Okay, that recipe is done. I'm gonna close it up. And you, oh, it smells so good. That garlic, you can give it a mix if you want or you can just leave it as is. It is ready. We tell you exactly on here on cooking day what to add to the crock pot or instant pot when you're ready. And the best part about it is you don't have to thaw. It goes straight from the freezer and you're ready to go. Okay, easy peasy. Let me, give me a heart if you guys can do this. Okay, so um, we have a reader that says, and I can't see her name because she's in the group, and when you're commenting in the group, I can't see it. But she said, I don't know why, but minced garlic tastes different than me. Fresh, I prefer fresh. I'm not going to lie, friends. Fresh is way better than minced garlic. However, when you're making a recipe like this, it's not going to be that big of a deal. If you're making like, I can't think of something off the top of my head, um, like a roasted garlic something, you would want to use a fresh garlic. So that's why we're using minced garlic. So we get the garlic flavor and that's why I always use more too, because it's not quite as strong as fresh garlic. But just like we use dried herbs, fresh is always going to be better, but we're doing it the lazy way. But as my sister always says, you do you boo, okay? Francine is in the club, woo woo woo. So if you are in the club, I wanna hear what is your favorite, what is the Lazy Day Cooking Club helped you with the most? And if I see your comment, I'm gonna pop you on the screen. Get excited. Victoria, I hate chopping fresh garlic, me too. 
Okay. What am I making, Ninja Mama? We are making basalt beef stew like a ninja. Now I am moving on. That took me like no time. Now I'm moving on to sweet and sour chicken right here. So we have chicken breasts that are diced up. You could leave them frozen and shred them if you want to, but I feel like you want them diced up. This one I'm mixing in a bowl, right? The bag is labeled and we're using our freezer bag holders. These freezer bag holders are on from Amazon. Very inexpensive. Got some common okay, here we go. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find them. Let's see. Lindsay says, I don't have to think about dinner. I used to spend most of the day thinking of what to fix. Yes, now you don't have to. You just it, you just go in there. We actually have a reader who her son just goes to the freezer and picks out dinner every night. And that way he's involved in the dinner planning. And she knows Sherry has everything because she bought everything due to the club and the shopping list. So that's pretty awesome. Rhonda says, time and money. She loves the club. Who? What? I am throwing them on the screen. Oh, Are you not getting them? Yeah, my You're a little slower, yeah. Okay, we have Barbara says, I saved so much money because I don't throw so much away that I bought and don't use. Barbara, that's a good point. Not only do you save money by skipping the drive through you're actually saving money because you're not throwing away food. You're actually going to eat what you buy because we're telling you what to buy. So that's a pretty good point too, Barbara. You're awesome. Lindsay said, yes, my daughter wanted to choose, so I let her. Jessica just joined the club last night. Woohoo! welcome to the club. Okay, for those of you who are asking how to join the club, um, the link is right above the video and, um, if you're on YouTube and Facebook. But if you're on the Instagram, I'm gonna add it to my stories or you could always go to the lazy day cooking club com hit the get started and get started in the club you're gonna love it but as soon as you join make sure you join the private Facebook group immediately because that is the secret sauce sorry my voice is cracking that is the special part of the club is the family if you can't see it and you're on the live just click and you're on your phone just click my face and you'll be able to see it okay here we go we have another one Jerry says the club makes it so easy to shop prepare and have dinner on and ready in the morning. No waste. And we are not eating out. Yay. I love it. I love it because we're no longer eating out because we have to, we eat out because we want to. And so we can go to a nice restaurant because we can actually afford it instead of hitting the drive through five times a week. The struggle is real, right? Lindsay, it's so worth it. 10 to $15 life changing life saving i totally agree okay oh wait we have tammy one more then i'm gonna get back i'm gonna get back friends tammy i love the club tammy is awesome by the way actually all our club members are awesome it saves me time and family and i allow the hubby and the kids help me which brings joy to do this as a family oh i love that because they're doing it together it's so cool okay and the fun thing about it is when oh i gotta do this one too oh my goodness um, is when you, when your kids and your husband that might be picky actually helps out with dinner, you have a better chance of them actually eating the dinner. Um, I have another one I wanted to see real quick. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so anyway, okay, sweet and sour chicken, back to this. So we're going to throw in three bell peppers, one of each color. Hopefully you can see this. Into about one inch square pieces. This is really, really good, friends. Let me know below, do you like sweet and sour chicken? And I bet you you've never had it in a crock pot. What's so great about the crock pot is that it, um, the chicken is so tender. You don't have to worry about having, um, what's it called? tough chicken like if you overcooked it in a skillet the crock pot is gonna we're just throwing everything in the bag and then the crock pot is going to do all the work okay one more 
Man, did you sharpen this knife? It is nice. It's in a good mood today, I guess. Nope, I can't. Nice. I was the other day, but I cut up that meat. Oh, yeah. I guess I just didn't notice it last night. We have Gianna. I love her comment. She says, spending $14.99 a month on the club to save hundreds on groceries is worth it. I totally agree. Let me say this. If you were to save $100 this month, what would you spend it on? Would you spend it on more Christmas gifts? Would you donate it? Would you take your family out to a really nice restaurant? What would you do if we saved you $100? Because in the club, that's what you're going to do. Um, okay, so now we're going to throw in, in a small bowl, we're going to do, okay, so my bowl, we got our soy sauce, okay, yeah. 16 hours later, the soy sauce will be poured, <clears throat> probably should have poured the little cap off, but this is way more fun said no one ever. Um, the IT guy lives about 25 minutes away. I like to tell people he lives in the garage. I'm kidding. Probably will. Probably will. Gets cold in there. I'm kidding, friends. Okay, and then we're going to do some brown sugar. So basically what we're making is the sauce to pour over apple cider vinegar. We do, we do a disc, we do do yearly subscriptions and you do get a discount by purchasing the year. When you go to the lazydaycookinglove.com and you hit the get started page, you will see where you can select that option if you choose to. Ginger, we need some ginger. Um, then we need some cornstarch and some garlic. Oh, oops, one more garlic. Oh, no, that's right. This is cornstarch. Okay. Wake up, Carrie, right? Should be wearing my apron, friends. Why would I wear my apron? Nobody knows. Okay. recipe is done. Now, normally we just dump everything in the bag, but the reason we were having you whisk it together is to make sure your cornstarch isn't clumpy. We just want to whisk it and then you just dump it in and we tell you exactly what to do on cooking day. It smells so good. Going that one's going home with the IT guy. He's fighting for this one. Mm -mm. We tell you about the cooked rice. We tell you what to do on cooking day. So this, literally, it goes from your freezer to your crock pot in no time. Recipe number two, done. I have done a lot of talking today. We need to speed up, Terry. The last but not least is the creamy chicken parmesan soup, which is a fave of mine. I love chicken parmesan, and I love making a recipe in a chicken parmesan soap form. So we're going to do the boneless, skinless breasts are diced in the bag. The bag is labeled. Then we're going to throw in some minced garlic. We're going to throw in some crushed tomatoes. Give me a heart if you like. 
No, let me know below if you get chicken parmesan. Yes or no, below. Um, when you head to the, you know, what's it called? Italian restaurants. Oh my goodness, friends, I can't talk. I need more coffee. It's okay, I'm about to drink some, so get ready. <laughs> okay. The crushed tomatoes. So basically what this is, is like chicken parmesan and chicken soup, got married, had a baby, and this is what the results are, and it is a good result. Then we're going to do some tomato sauce. All the flavors of chicken parm without all the work. I call that a win-win. Okay. Now, to join the club, friends, if you're on the Instagram, I'll add it to my stories when we get off. But if you're on Facebook or YouTube, the link is right there, and you can join today. But when you join today, make sure you join the private Facebook group because that's the secret sauce in your success. And we want you to save you a lot of money and time. Salt. I keep losing my stuff today. Oh, here we go. I need to get my act together, friends. It's going to be one of my favorite meals. Tell them that my favorite meal is going to be a sweet and sour chicken today. Yeah, the IT guy's favorite meal is the sweet and sour chicken today because he's taking it home. He's, he fought me for it. Um, but he already knows that I am in love with the balsamic beef stew and I'm in love with chicken parmesan. I don't think he's going to fight me for those. Nope. We're having one of these this weekend. Don't know which one. Let me know below. Which one should my family make? I'm going to go live and show you how easy it is to throw it in the crock pot um, either tomorrow or Sunday. So let me know. Should I show you the basalt beef stew or the chicken parmesan? Which one should I make? I don't know. Or should I do both? One on each day? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, that's it, friends. That's how easy this was to make. We tell you exactly what to do on cooking day. We even give you ideas on how to cook it with um, for an easy, delicious dinner. So let me move this out of the way so I can show you. Oop. One, two, three recipes. In just minutes, I would have had it done way faster if I wasn't so chatty today. But still, you can probably make these in less than 20 minutes. So 20 minutes, imagine you spend more time on that one evening, but now you're going to make three recipes in the same amount of time. It's kind of a no brainer, don't you think? Okay, so chicken parm is getting the most, ooh. Oh, Ashley, you're so sweet. Thank you. She watched an old, old video of me when um, one of my boys, I think his name, I think it was Garrett that was live doing that bubble up pizza. Um, yes, you can make your own pizza sauce, friends. It's, I have that on eating on a dime. But anyway, so someone said, why don't you show the finished product? You get to see it. We have pictures on the Lazy Day Cooking Club. Um, and we can start doing that. I can show you. So right now, chicken parmesan is winning. So either Saturday or Sunday, I'm not sure which. But the great thing about it is if you're on Facebook, or actually on anywhere, you can turn on notifications to where you can see our stuff first. And I will go live in the morning and let you know what time I'm gonna go live, maybe, or I might just go live. So you need to make sure you have those notifications turned on. But in less than 20 minutes, you can make chicken parmesan soup, sweet and sour chicken, and balsamic beef stew today if you're in the club. So join the club, you'll get all the recipes and all the support from me, my sister, the IT guy, and the other members. So you guys have a fabulous Friday. I hope I inspired you to stop wasting your money and spend a little less time in the kitchen. Bye, friends.